Today, we are going to be focusing on the steps for subtracting mixed numbers with like denominators. <coughs> As you can see in our example question, we have 10 and 4 ninths minus 7 and 2 ninths. As you may have already noticed, our denominators are the same. As with any other operation, dealing with mixed numbers or fractions that have the same denominator, it's much easier than if those denominators were different. Now the steps for subtracting mixed numbers with like denominators is very similar to what we would do if we were adding them, except when we get to the point of adding, now we will be subtracting. The first thing you should do is to stack the mixed numbers. Once again, we do this so that everything is lined up, and it's an especially important step for when we are start working with unlike denominators. Once we have them stacked, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the fractions first. Okay, I like to think of it as even breaking it down into two separate problems. Dealing with fractions first, then dealing with the whole numbers. So first, I would do the fractions first. 4 ninths minus 2 ninths. When the denominator is the same, the denominator stays the same in your answer. 4 minus 2 gives me 2. Then I have 2 ninths. Then I'm going to move over to my whole numbers, and then I just subtract them as well. 10 minus 7 gives me 3. Alright, so basically what we have is 3 and 2 ninths, and then we simplify if possible. 2 and 9 share no other factors other than 1, so 2 ninths is already in its simplest form, so 3 and 2 ninths is our mixed number in simplest form. 